In Airtable, you can link records if they are in the same base, but you cannot link records if they're in different bases. So we wanted to come up with a solution for this. So here's what we came up with. We give you a formula. The formula generates a unique URL for each record in your table. When you click on that URL, you're taken to a linked records experience. Now, these linked records are actually in another base. And I can show you that by clicking on them. If I click on them, I'm immediately taken to them in that other base. So see, see the name of that base. And uh, the original base that we were in is this one. So we're linking this base to this base. And we're going furniture one in this base to, to furniture two in this base. So I'll show you how this works. So it completely works as you would expect. You can remove things, uh, remove linked records. It's very fast. Um, you can add linked records as you would expect. You can search for them if you'd like, um, and so on and so forth. And then another thing I wanted to demonstrate is it's, it links them from both sides, just like Airtable does. So if I go to, let's say, um, cow rug in my base two, let's see, cow rug right here and open this. What I expect to see is see that record I linked earlier, right? So take a second here. So that is the record that I was adding for in here. So you see how I'm linking this thing to this thing. And if I add, if I remove this from here, for example, then I go back here, you'll see that immediately that record got removed. I'll show you how you would set this up now. So start by filling up your user API key, click on the blue URL to find that. Then this is a very easy setup. All you need to do is decide what your base one will be and what your base two will be. And then select your base one, your table in base one, and then select your base two and then the table in base two. So pretty much what you wanna do is you wanna select, tell us what the first base is, what is the table within the first base you'd like to link, and then what's the second base and what's the table you'd like to link. Click on save, you'll see these formulas. And what we'll wanna do is we'll wanna add formula number one to base one, and then formula number two to base two. So let's go ahead and do this. I'll click on here, I'll open this up, and all I'll need to do here is add a formula and I say, I'll call this link base and I'll add a formula and I'll paste that formula in here. All right, now let's do base two. So make sure to copy this. This is the difference in the two formulas, by the way. So we'll go over here. We'll open the second table in the second base and I will add, um, let's say link base here as well. And let's add a formula field and just paste that in here. All right, cool. So we are all set up. Now, if I wanted to open this, let's see what happens. So I'm taken to a, an experience for linked records for that specific record. Then I'm able to click on the drop down over here and select the um, items from that table in the other base. And I can select them easily like this. Then I can click on them, be taken to them. And when I'm taken to them, it takes me to the exact record and Bay Area business here. If I click on this, what I expect, you know, cause it's a two way connection. So I expect to see that other record that I linked from within this record and see here, and there you go. So this is pretty much it. We, we are very excited about this because we understand that this in this current form is a very simple tool, but we're also looking to add more to it. So we understand that this is a, use case that a lot of people deal with where they have different bases that they legitimately need to link. If you have any feedback for things to add to this extension so that we can sort of make it work for your use case, please do reach out to us.